have you faced any changes? I'm kind of struggling and have one league win and obviously kind of two help as a team. Is it, is it tough to get, not motivated, but to get out there for 40 minutes and give it your all and really have to do all the things that you guys want to do? You know, I think that that's um, definitely something that coach worries about and um, especially the day with that it, kind of the awkward introduction no video and everything like that but um, you know what we, we knew that uh, they were a capable team every team in the Big 12 is capable and they were able to beat Oklahoma so uh, we just had to come out ready to play and I think our team does a, a pretty good job of that for the most part uh, we definitely had games where we haven't but we're learning um, game by game and I think today was good Good to see the ball go today? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I felt very confident, and I uh, hope I'll be able to keep that going in the next game. How much did you enjoy you know, watching Jordan at the end of the game? Oh, it was uh, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I think the whole team enjoyed it. Three to three, I mean, seven points, four minutes, it's a pretty good night. So. Did you guys say anything up to him after the game at all? Congratulations, yeah, pretty congrats. much, yeah. Kevin, I've heard he's a hacker in practice. Is that accurate? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, nah. A little bit, a little bit, but it only makes us better. Travis, you guys got a lot of production from the bench tonight. Can you can you just talk a little bit about that, how they played? Uh, I mean, I think they stepped up and played real well. I mean, Coach has uh, gave them that challenge to step up, and today I think they, they met it. Kevin Tech tried to go inside early, and you guys did a real good job of limiting them. Um, what, what was the key to your front line defense tonight? Well, can you say that again? Just the key to your front line defense. They were trying to establish an inside presence. You guys shut them down pretty early when you were taking that big lead. Um, just no easy baskets, and the closer they are to the basket, it's more easy shot. And um, we just worked on denying them and getting the hand, hand around and not letting them think that they could throw it in there. Connor, when, when you guys come up, like you do in the first half and, and build kind of such a big lead. Is it hard to come out after halftime at all and kind of keep up the same intensity? Or? Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely um, more difficult when you're up by a lot more. Um, and we've kind of had an issue with that today and against Oklahoma State. Um, Coach Self says we need to show more maturity and stuff like that in those situations, which is the truth. Um, but you know, you just gotta, when it comes down to it, you gotta respect your opponent. And I think uh, at the end of the day, towards the end of the game, we definitely did that. But we did get a slow, to a slow start in the second half. But uh, we were talking about it just kind of like a tournament game. You got to bring energy in the first and second half and um, just do what we do every day in practice. Hey, Connor, did playing that video at halftime help the energy to start the second half? Yeah, uh, you know, I didn't even know I had played it until the, second, uh, until, uh, the game was over. So, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess not. And the way we came out maybe in the second half probably – not fully, I guess. You guys have uh, done such a good job defending inside the three-point line. Um, the way Jeff's playing defense right now, how tough is it for you guys think for opponents to, to kind of get going in the paint? Uh, no, yeah, it, Jeff. That, that's right. When you started off that question, I was just thinking it's because with the, I mean, people can get beat off the dribble and whatnot, and Jeff just blocks and alters so many shots that. Um, Teams, I think, I'm sure that they see them on film and remember, like if they played against him before, remember how de like devastating he is down there in the paint. But he really can just block so many shots. He's the best shot blocker I've seen since I've been in Kansas. I have to say that um, he just has a great feel and he does a good job of even when people go up into. Usually, when you go against somebody with length, you want to go up into their body, maybe try to draw a foul or be able to knock them away. But he does a good job of. To absorbing the hit and still blocking shots, so he, he's the biggest reason that um, it's it's hard to score inside the three point lane. So better better than Cole? I would say I would say so. I really would. Now that doesn't take anything away from Cole because Cole was a great defensive center and uh, he blocked shots. But uh, Jeff, he just has um, I guess a knack for it. I don't know if it was because he used to play volleyball <coughs> or what, but he uh, is great at blocking shots. Kevin, do you feel more comfortable out there today? Um, a little bit, yeah. Um, just try to get, get in rhythm with the other guys and uh, try to help any way I could. What do you think you need to do to get more minutes? Um, just play harder, play a lot harder. Anything else, guys? All right, folks, thank you.